DraftSociety.com presents a Premier League Draft Fantasy Podcast. Welcome to the Key Pass Collective. Your exclusive source for the information, analysis, and advice you need to dominate your fantasy leagues. Come on in. We've been expecting you. um yeah i mean i mean i'm just glad i'm not um braiding barbie's hairs for a change so yep anything that will get me get me out of that pretty much pretty much Yeah, yeah yeah i mean the pool is closed. We have a shit ton of Barbies now after Christmas. So I'm braiding. I am combing. I am, I am, um, sitting and rubber, rubber, um, um, whatever it's called. I'm rubber banding them onto, onto horses and cars and, and chairs and other. Um, seating paraphernalia. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> you're, I mean, you're always welcome to babysit.
<laughs> I mean, I'm stuck with him uh, in almost all of my leagues, so I'm I'm kind of obliged to have a different opinion. But yeah, um, I mean, I can see like I can see why you would say that he was hot garbage, um, <laughs> and he he certainly did not do much to change those people's opinions. But I think. At this point, um, for fantasy purposes, it's it's more the circumstantial stuff that you have to look at. Clearly, Guardiola loves him and plays him uh, even if he's not playing well. Uh, we can see what happens even if he's playing badly. He will. He will. Like I wouldn't. I think that would be unfair to say he he lucked into uh, two assists. He was he did he did do Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Okay, let's say well, that's that's what I, that was our that that was, <laughs> yeah. Like like I'm not gonna say he's 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 gonna be Aston Villa greedyish. I'm not even gonna say he's gonna be, like I think I think he will outscore Mares, um, on a points per match basis and on a overall points basis as well. But um, but I think that's. If you're if you're thinking uh, city attackers, I think that's the that's the kind of like I think he'll outscore Mares and Gundogan, but not anyone else on City, which is like decent because then he then we are essentially saying or I'm essentially saying that he is he is like Haaland, KDB, Foden. Uh, silver and then Grealish. He he's seen decent amount of playtime since he got back from injury. So far, even like, I think there's nothing. It's nothing's gonna change. Like, we would be. Um, stupid to try to guess what Guardiola is going to do but I think I think essentially it's going to be it's going to be similar similar type of stuff that we've seen before uh with with the rotation uh <coughs> we'll see hot patches for for players and then them like Foden had a a red hot patch and then he just Got subbed and then, and then he didn't start for three games in a row. Like, yeah. Essentially, that's what I see Grealish with Grealish as well. Uh, and and you'll gain some confidence. This was all in all. I think this game ended up being a positive for him. Like, if he if he gets two or three more starts um, by the end of January, then. Then he'll he'll have a few decent scores. Like I I don't see I don't see an issue with him, uh, not as a player or or a, in real life, just as a fantasy asset.
if I can get a good deal, I can. I will deal anyone. But uh, I have. I have a lot of doubt that I can get a, a good deal for him. Like, like. Um, oh, uh, we had him ranked thirty um, fifth, and I don't think I can get anyone higher ranked higher. Yeah, because because he's done he's done nothing nothing out of the ordinary. He did he played um, pretty badly, but got a decent fantasy score. Like that's what he has done since he's joined City, isn't it? Like that's how we that's that's the way we ranked him.
Is it, is it the Matteo Cashman tax? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's that's uh, on point. Like, um, like we can. I was I'm just looking at the ranks, and I'd 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 have him smack between Marcus Rashford and Wilfred Zaha um, in at, in the twenty four spot, and. Even there, it seems like a risk, and and traditionally, just like Ryan said, uh, the Eredivisie is a huge step uh, down from the EPL, and some some might say um, some might take Luis Diaz as the opposite uh, from Portugal, but but um, I think we have enough data. For players coming in from from the Portuguese league, um, to say that that is a much more um, like reasonably um, straight, yeah, comparable, straightforward league to come from to to then then be able to hit the ground running than the Eredivisie. That said, I think he's a he's a great talent, and and I think he he will have a lot of Fun and I think Klopp will have a lot of interesting new um, ways to to implement his his uh, front three, um, especially when or or if finally some some of the injured guys make it back. Um, I think I think the strange thing, and and um, if you've if you've seen our tweet, we reference. Uh, uh, video made by Karl Anker uh, for Tifo, uh, who did a. It's essentially essentially a love letter to go to Gakpo, um, but but I think he said that that the strange thing and the tactical um, challenge for Klopp is that um, all all of his current top top tier attackers. Loves to play by running onto the ball, and I think that is something that, like, needs to be managed and addressed. And uh, some of those players need to change, but but that also means that <laughs> if if it's just like slot and play, then then uh, much of the burden will be will be on Thiago and. Possibly in a in a four two three one on uh, Firmino as the as the ten to to make those incisive passes happen. Ob- obviously, um, Trent 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 is the main guy to do that. Like he'll 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 do. We we've seen that uh, against Villa. Um, he he got the ball smack in the middle of the. Field in 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 where an eight or a ten would be, and then and then flicked over the defense for Robo to to then square it to uh, Salah against Villa, and I think those kind of things will will need to happen a lot more, and I think Thiago and Ta will be instrumental. Uh, their form and their um, and their health will be instrumental to how how we play. In the second half of the season, obviously, if when when all all the injured players come back and and um, when they have a full preseason uh, in the summer, then then I expect some more tactical um, kinks to to appear. But if as 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 Gakpo is coming in and he's coming in hot, so I think. He'll start the games as soon as he comes in. Um, I think I think they'll try to utilize um, his existing skill sets rather than try to retool uh, what he does. Yeah, I, th- I think I think I, I I joked about that in in the in the home league group chat that. That um, 
Julian Ward watched the first half of the Villa game, and he was like, he was like, called PSV and said, uh, "You know the deal we had on the table. Sign it now." <laughs> I I love the Ox, but but he's like he's gone. I think so, yeah.
No, no, no. Um, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm reasonably excited. Uh, this was an area of need, obviously, obvious need for wolves. Um, it's like it might be down to the different manager, but it is strange that it's it's such a different. Um, player profile to to what they found as a solution in Kalajic. Like they have they had done their research, they had done their scouting and they have identified him as uh, Kalajic as the as the guy who will who will fill that role. Obviously that didn't happen because of the injury, but then to go go out and get a player who is who is such a different profile, it's it's strange. Uh, obviously, it's. I'd say it's probably down to, down to the different style of manager and the different manager. So that is, that is um, a good good sign that they're backing Lopetegui. Um, I I struggle to see Wolves becoming like a powerhouse attacking side. Um and I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Um but but like like um I'm gonna say for rankings wise and for comparison um I'm gonna say and and Ryan will be up in arms about this, I'm sure. But I'm I'm gonna say somewhere between Dom Solanke and Gianluca Scamacca. Is this fair? Yeah, and Solanke is eighty two. Somewhere somewhere in that range. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I have. I personally, I have Solanke at ninety-seven, so that's probably a not not a fair assessment. For yeah, I'd I'd rather have Skamaka. Uh, I have him at forty-nine. We have a we have him. In consensus at sixty six, but like we have, unfortunately, in that range we have Jota, who is injured, Sinistera, who is injured. Uh, like I'd rather have Cunha than Pets and Daka. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I haven't seen Marsh's uh, pre match or post match. I'm fishing for some Sinistera info. Otherwise, um, I'm, I'm I've dropped him in in the league that I have him. So um, I'd rather pick up Cunha than than drop Sinistera. If you like, like um, maybe a better comparison would be Richarlison or Sterling. I know. I, I think everyone hates. I, everyone hates having Sterling. But Ryan, you have Sterling at thirty-two. Again. Yeah, I've I've I had I had um, I had some expert analysis from friend of the pod, um, um, 
overthink football. Um, when Reese plays, Chelsea are good. When Reese doesn't play, Chelsea are bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, agreed. Agreed on the decision. But then, but then again, um, obviously, like Gedesh hasn't taken that number nine spot, but we had him, we had him ranked in the eighties, assuming that he would be the main guy. So, is it is it just based on? The main attacking guy, I want to say. Um, like, is 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 uh, the number nine spot scoring that much better, or should it score that much better, or is it just less rotation proof or more rotation proof, so to say? Or why why would we have like this is just playing devil's advocate? I I agree with all uh, with the with the rankings that that we had. We had uh, discussed for um, Cunha, but is it just like, like, why, why, why do we, why would he have, why would we have him much higher? I've seen I've seen four months for Gibbs White. It was just a rumor, so I wouldn't I don't want to substantiate it, but that would be horrible.
I love that uh, meme, that Ben Affleck smoking meme. <laughs> Forest is Forest scouting department, uh, knowing that they have to sign twenty more players <laughs> in January. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, who's who's not a punt on Forest? Neko could could uh, could get set pieces if Scarpa doesn't get them. But then again, he didn't start this week, so who knows? Yeah. They'll be added on the 1st of January. Yeah, I think I think um this is a bit of bit of a admin admin thing. I think um commissioners need to pay attention because um uh, we'll have round eighteen um ending on the first and round nineteen, game week nineteen is starting on the second of January, so uh you need to change waivers to Monday instead of Tuesday. And and Monday the second, that's when all these guys are gonna come on, unless they make it in their um like mid midday after after waiver time on the first, because then they'll be logged with the twenty four hour rule. Yeah. And and I'm I'm sure that we are gonna have a, a running uh, updated article uh, open and then being updated a few times during January for new transfers on the draft site. Yeah, I think for me the the biggest question marks were were these longish term injuries. 
um, and the lack of information we have of them, like the ones we talked about already, Jota and um, Sinistera, um, S- Jesus, Diaz, Richarlison, Sancho, to, cer- to a certain extent, Chilwell. We have no real info. Like the Dalo um miss miss out uh for for the boxing day games um was coming out of the blue um but even now two days later we have no information on on how long the low is supposed to be out so these these obviously make make doing ranks even more difficult than just a normal amount of difficult Well, I think, to be fair, these ranks were made before Gakpo was even talked about. But... I think... Yeah, it it dings my 70, so I'm sure that it dings um, Robbie's and Draftlet's 40 ranks. Yep, yep. I uh, that's what I said, and I I'm sticking to it. Um, um, I think, I think both Jota and Diaz were, although neither was a re re injury of of their existing or their previous injury, but but both were coming back from injury uh and then getting injured again type of situations and and i think um they realized that that's what that's what um our very own athlete genie always tells us that the that the uh <laughs> highest chance of 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 a player getting injured is when they are coming back from injury, and it's not necessarily re-injuring the same injury. It's the fact that they they have lost the spring in their step. They have lost the um, rigors of of day to day training, and and it's difficult to get back to it. And if you're rushed and you're playing a game or you're playing a high intensity um, training session, then then and you're not you're the other parts of your body are not fit enough, um, then that that could that could result in an injury. And I think both Jota and Diaz are are similarly um, injured, or they are they are in a similar situation. So I think um, I think they realized this and they said um, if we want them to be usable assets, then they then we need to give them all the time they need to get back to full fitness because because um because if if even if like everyone's back to back healthy there that's a similar situation to man city 
like talent and attacking talent wise it's not it's not too many players there will be it won't be like uh you can you can essentially write in Mane, Firmino and Salah like the last few years and that's that we need <laughs> us fantasy managers need to accept that but for liverpool it's it's a really good thing Exactly, like like Everton need Calvin Phillips back because Neil Mopa is uh, is no Calvin Phillips, uh, but and and that's why they are. I I'm sure that they're in 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 the nicest possible way trying to rush him back so that he's able to play and then then he gets another injury, another part of his body, and and I'm sure that like people more familiar with this um will be saying the that's uh, a no brainer but like it still happens so yeah exactly I think there's the, the the lack of usable precedent means that this could be like uh, a fine or something ranging from that to like two three year suspension, and that's like he he will want to fight that to the to the absolute limit.
You're taking the mulligan. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, top top ghost call. Top ghost ghost point get it. It has to continue to be a sell high. Like, there is, there's, there's, and then, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd said this before, but I'd rather sell high and then, um, see him continue to do well than get stuck with him and suffer through him going back to being droppable. Yeah, there is that is that is not sustainable. Yeah, it's always the, it's always the twelve twenty points.
we are pretty we are pretty much all ranking him consistently around that spot though. So I think we have to give ourselves um the benefit of the doubt, so to say. Like like I get it, I get I get it that that we 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 all don't believe that he's he's gonna sustain this level of uh, production, but even if it's like scoring every second game, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean it, the Shaw Shaw Alex Telles uh, comparison is probably more apt um, that he did have his best season to date uh, when, when they brought in a replacement so Yeah, hence we have him at 33. Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather, Pereira, uh, yeah, Gumarash probably. I'd still, I still have hope for Paqueta. No, not for me. Mito, Mitoma, Mitoma. <laughs> but even the worst uh, Robbie had You have him at sixty six, and then that even <laughs> the second coming. In enough, is is that the right answer? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Mur
Just like just like zinc. Just like zinc. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, I'm I'm with you there. I think it's <laughs> I think he's gone he's gone in January. That's what, at least that's what I saw somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. We He hasn't woken up. He's, he's still sleeping. <laughs> um, what's his name? Dowell, Dowell. <laughs> KLP. And then, and then, uh, that, no, were you a Damsgaard guy? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> he might might just be dead. I did. Yeah, I think um I mentioned this I think it might have been not not in the pod but in one of our chats that um that it will be very like when we were when we were guessing what the Wolves lineup will be and and I I alluded to saying that if Gedesh or and or Adama don't start uh on Boxing Day and they are both healthy then it's it's pretty damning because they had like a month and a half to work with uh, Lopetegui and that and then he decides to bench them for a game um i i i'm like i'm i i have adama in a league and i'm i'm thinking about dropping him <laughs>
Yeah, I th- I think um, Sofa Sofa Score has him assisting. Yeah, strange. That's fair. I mean, I'm. I've decided not to drop him uh, because if if I were to drop him, I would have uh, been been dropping him during the game week, so that I have spots to use. Um, but like, it's 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 close, and if he if he only gets one start in the next two, and then doesn't start the one after that. Uh, it's I I I'm ready to cut bait. Yeah, that's that's my plan. Does that, does anyone even know what day it is now? No idea myself. Today. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that, that's what everyone knows. That they have to work next week. I do, yes. Um, I picked up Chris Wood and uh, got the 10 points from his 11-point goal uh, <laughs> that he that he took uh, uh, as a penalty. I still think that once, uh, like, if, if Wilson is not back, which I don't think he will be, uh, he's a decent shout uh, to play uh, against Leeds. Um, another guy I I picked up and we talked about this last week as well and we had the thread on this and uh, Ryan um, was shouting this off the rooftops once he did his did his uh, pickups and trades um, that that the Fulham Fulham players are uh, players to pick up so I I want to shout out Kenny Tete who I had in the Pantrox HQ waivers article. Um, and my last one is uh, Garnacho from United. Um, I think uh, Anthony was was poo. Uh, 
he he yeah he was he wasn't very good he um not not for fantasy or in real life so um so I think and Garnacha came on for for a few minutes at the end and he was really energetic and 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 trying to run at the defense and and um trying to make something happen out of out of the apathy that was the end of that game. So um so yeah, I think I think he'll start um just based on that and coupled with with um with the tight uh Turn around, so yeah, I think he's a good shout against Wolves. Yeah, yeah, like he's he's if you if you if you were gonna roster one of the young United uh, attackers, him or Elanga, I'd I'd choose Garnacho. Ryan? <laughs> yeah, I have him in 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 my Fantrix HQ article as well. Yeah. And Just, just to to jump back on the name uh, you said before, um, do you think uh, Aitnuri takes Bueno's spot? Okay, that's a good. Okay.
Nice. Well, for for fantasy, definitely it doesn't. <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. Um, altern al alternatively, we were thinking we might uh, sing it on the track, but then we opted against it after some initial um, sound checks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say a straight razor and just start, start scratching it where you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> 